Police chiefs from around South Carolina are urging lawmakers to pump the brakes on a push to make it easier to carry concealed guns in public. It's what's known as constitutional carry or permitless carry. The State House reporter Mary Green joins us live. So Mary, what's their main concern here? Well, Greg, Judy, they're worried because this bill would allow people here in South Carolina to carry concealed loaded guns without any training. We've got to keep each other safe. Police chiefs from Myrtle Beach, Columbia, Conway and Anderson say the bill known as constitutional carry or permitless carry would make their communities less safe. The bill would allow people 18 and older to carry loaded concealed guns without a permit or training. As law enforcement officers, we train, we train and we train some more and we still make mistakes. With this legislation, we are asking the public no longer to be required to train and expect the same result. Chiefs say they're also worried because this bill doesn't address mental health and fear it will have unintended consequences. This puts our law enforcement officers in a position to fail. The South Carolina Sheriff's Association didn't share those concerns about the lack of training requirement, but they say they would oppose the bill without tougher penalties added in for people who illegally possess guns. I believe the sheriffs of, the, of South Carolina have very serious concerns about straight constitutional carry. If there is some mechanism that has felon in possession language in there, uh, we could come to a neutral position. Supporters of this bill argue they shouldn't need a permission slip from the government to exercise their Second Amendment rights. Constitutional carry does not change who can carry. It does not care, change where you can carry. It's already passed the state's House of Representatives earlier this year, so if it passes the state Senate, then it would head to the governor's desk. Reporting live from the state house, Mary Green, WS News 10.